If you've only just mastered using ChatGPT deep research or perplexity, then I got some bad news because Manus has dropped its latest banger feature and it's called Wide Research. And this takes things literally to another level where you're going to have your own personal research supercomputer with hundreds of AI agents running all at once. That means you can profile hundreds of companies, you can batch generate images, web pages, build data sets, and just define your goal and let Manus do all the work. Something that used to take days of manual work now happens in a single step, apparently. But we want to try that out today. We want to see if it actually works and if it actually gets results. And I want to put it to its test because Manus say you can use a short prompt for these things, but I wanted to go in depth and actually give it some structured output to see how we're going to get on. Now, I've got two prompts I want to use here. There's one we're going to start with, which is about buying companies. This is a painstaking process that usually takes, you know, going through marketplaces, looking at companies' house, finding financial statements online to find targets. It can take weeks or months months just to find one good company to buy. So we're going to take this and it's even going to go through and build us an output of potential targets based on all sorts of things of directors, ages, company financial statements, everything in there. So we're going to take this prompt and we're going to test it out basically. And then while that runs, we'll see Manus is thinking it's going to get to work and initiate a deep and wide research to identify and analyze manufacturing companies for sale in the southwest of England. You can see it's building its process and working out how it's going to deliver this final report. This can be really interesting to see. Then the other prompt I've got here is a bit more marketing. I want to actually, and you see I have put some long prompts in here because I wanted to see if it can deliver the output that I requested and specific things. But you could go much much shorter and say like could you just do a wide research of top five accounting firms in manchester and then give me the output in a visual present presentation so i actually wanted to do the research and analyze the top five companies in manchester and then give us a visual presentation so we could just present that in whatever we're trying to do rather than days of researching and putting together our own presentations. Hopefully this is going to happen automatically, but we'll get to that in a second once we've checked this first result. And guys, if you want 500 free credits to try Manus out for yourself, then there's a link in the description where you can get 500 free credits. So this is cool so far. You can see it's browsing on, on the right here, but actually it's identified key sources, major UK business portals, regional brokers, company house API. Now I'll review the structures and prepare for parallel research phases. So it's going to be able to do this all at once rather than just going through everything painstakingly one by one. It's going to go and do things with its hundreds of AI agents all at once. And simultaneously, you can see I've actually started this uh, analysis of doing market research against accounting firms in Manchester on the other on the other side on another tab. And you see it actually stopped and said, hey, I just want to check that you want to use these top five accountants that I've selected. And then it's off and running and researching them all at the same time here to actually get all this data that we want for our presentation. So everything's happening. <laughs> everything's happening all at once. Okay, so Manus has finished the market research for the accountants firms and built up what looks like here. You see Manus has finished, finished its current task. Uh, it's got some markdown. It's produced a spreadsheet with loads of information on and the slides as well. So we've got the spreadsheet here of, of information. Um, see what this doc is, is our complete analysis document of overall assessments, key strengths and weaknesses for each company, comparative matrix of social media reach, which is cool, uh, local SEO performance, historically strong, limited visibility, their website quality, their reputation management. That's interesting. So we can see that the key trends and insights as well, which is cool. So that document goes on and on and is a nice summary for us. What's What about the presentation that we've got going on then? Um, I wonder if we can put this into, yeah, look, well, we can put our presentation into full screen. Executive summary. Look at this. I mean, the design's boring, but like <laughs> it looks pretty, um, pretty thorough. So we've got our general overview and the key findings. Three have poor online ratings. Larger firms dominate thought leadership. Most firms are not optimized for local keywords. That's a massive opportunity if people aren't optimizing for their local SEO. And social media disparity between the, the bigger and small firms. We've got, a, this is cool actually, it's pulled in all its logos, which is nice, not perfectly aligned, but it's got 
some information about the firm, how long it's been there, and just a quick overview of kind of giving us a brand overview of people and their LinkedIn followers and all that sort of thing. Now we're on to our comparative matrix as well. So key digital marketing metrics, we can see very quickly who's strong or not. Uh, and a, <laughs> a website analysis as well. Uh, this chart is not the easiest to decipher, but you kind of get get a look at what it means, accounting, mobile friendliness, CTAs, all that sort of thing, user experience, content market sophistication here, which is cool, and then gives us our key recommendations as well, which is really cool. Now, finally, our manufacturing company acquisition targets report is finished. It took a decent while to do this, and it's actually been written us a whole report on potential companies in Cornwall, Devon, Somerset, Dorset, Wiltshire, Gloucester, the southwest of England that could be available for sale or potential targets for an acquisition. Now, let's put this little chart together here, which it's okay. Like it wasn't, it was maybe a bit much because I think some of the data I asked it to get wasn't that easy to find or wasn't publicly available for small businesses. But you can see here, it's actually gone and sort of summary notes of retire like these businesses are actually for sale um and why they're for sale or what they are some some quick notes uh where they're based and asking price and company accounts that are available it's not the best laid out this but it gives us some initial you can see a list of initial companies that we could actually go contact that are potential for sale you know financial distress across some some companies if you're looking for those sorts of companies retirement sales all sorts of things as targets for acquisition it saved us a bit of scouting around but um and you can see all the listings about where it's found some of these businesses for sale or the potential targets for acquisition you know it's looking at press releases all sorts of things from industry news it's a bit of a disjointed industry so a bit hard to find some information on that but um it's pretty impressive like the amount of depth it went into to actually try and find some of these um, bits of information like this company here that, you know, it's finding gross profits and little bits of accounting information for the industry. Now, I did want to try another one as well, which was based on a shorter prompt real quickly. Research and compile contact information for 200 Fortune 500 company CTOs, names, addresses, basically prospect all their LinkedIn profiles, everything to give us a report. It's still running this. It's been going for half an hour and it's done a good nearly 100. It's done nearly 100 of these so we might actually say like that's enough go on to the next stage of the task because we've actually done uh this is stage two of our four-step process it needs to organize and structure the collection data so we can actually um, interrupt the research process and get it to move on to the next task which is pretty cool if you like if it gets stuck because it can't find something it's looking for then you might need to interrupt it and get it to carry on so it's stopped its parallel processing 92 successful results and it's going to go on to the next stage of sort of getting all this stuff organized for us as our prospecting but this is really cool as a prospecting tool you could use this for anything as we showed companies for sale or looking to find contact details in a particular industry all in a quick report basically at low cost. It's built as our Fortune 500 CTO database. It's got a couple of files here. We'll check what they both are. But we can see now, let's put that in wide mode. Um, we can see how we've got all the company names and then we've got the CTO full name, the title, email addresses. Okay, not publicly available. That's not that surprising to be fair. It's got some of them in there. You'd probably find for smaller companies that you'd find them more easily. Um, LinkedIn profile URLs, just as good as an email address these days. And what I really love is recent company news. So again, if you were prospecting, you could get it to go and find local company updates, social media posts, whatever, to actually use in your outreach as well if you're doing cold outreach or you know sales prospecting or something like that. This is not far off. Well, it is having a virtual PA, a virtual assistant doing this stuff for you, this prospecting work, this sort of research stuff, you can do in Manus now rather than having a human take days and weeks to do it. Get it done in an hour in Manus to pretty good level now 